China's tech revolution is no longer a future possibility. It's happening right now, and it's astonishing the world. At the center of this seismic shift are two powerhouse names, Huawei and Xiaomi. These aren't just tech brands. They're the symbols of a new era in innovation, emerging from China and shaking the foundations of global technology. Picture a world where your smartphone charges in seconds, your car autonomously navigates busy city streets, and artificial intelligence anticipates your needs before you even realize them. That world isn't science fiction. It's unfolding in real time, and it's being shaped by Chinese ingenuity. Huawei and Xiaomi have transitioned from being viewed as underdogs to becoming leading forces in AI, 5G, electric vehicles, and consumer electronics. Their pace of innovation is relentless and their impact is global. They're not just keeping up, they're pulling ahead. From AI chips that rival NVIDIA to electric vehicles that challenge Tesla, these companies are proving that cutting-edge tech isn't exclusive to Silicon Valley. Huawei, in particular, is a story of comeback and resilience. Since being hit by severe U.S. sanctions in 2019, many expected the company to falter. Instead, it has adapted and thrived. In 2024, Huawei reported $1,862.1 billion in revenue, a 22.4% increase from the previous year. A huge part of this resurgence has come from their focus on telecommunications and consumer tech, but their biggest breakthroughs lie deeper. Faced with restrictions on access to advanced chips, Huawei made a bold move. It partnered with China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC. Together, they developed 7 nanometer chips that power the Mate 60 Pro, a 5G smartphone released in August 2023 that shocked the global tech industry. Analysts couldn't believe Huawei had managed to sidestep export bans and still produce such a high-performing device. But they didn't stop there. In April 2025, Huawei launched mass production of the Ascend 910OC AI chip, designed to compete directly with NVIDIA's H100. Built using SMIC's N plus 2 process, this chip powers Huawei's advanced Cloud Matrix 3 N84 cluster, which some in the industry say can outperform NVIDIA's NV72 on certain AI tasks. Huawei is also rolling out its CAN ecosystem, compute architecture for neural networks, as a homegrown alternative to NVIDIA's CUDA. This move is empowering China's AI developers to reduce reliance on foreign technology and build their own solutions. Beyond chips, Huawei is diving deep into electric vehicles. Through its Harmony Intelligent Mobility Alliance, it's collaborating with automakers like Ceres, Cherry, and BAIC to develop smart cockpits and autonomous driving systems. The AITO brand, backed by Huawei's tech, sold 31,727 EVs in March 2024 alone and is targeting 600,000 units annually. What's more impressive is their rollout of liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging piles capable of 600 kilowatts output deployed across over 340 Chinese cities. These chargers are approaching nearly one kilometer per second in range replenishment speed, making EV range anxiety. Another major development is Harmony OS Next, Huawei's bold response to Android. By Q1 2025, the operating system had captured 19% of China's smartphone market. Devices like the foldable Mate X series are showing that Harmony OS isn't just an alternative, it's a compelling platform in its own right. Huawei's innovation engine is powered by serious investment. In 2024, the company poured YWAS 179.7 billion, over 20% of its revenue, into research and development. With over 35,000 researchers stationed at its expansive new Shanghai campus, Huawei is aggressively pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And while Huawei climbs the high-end tech ladder, Xiaomi is staging a revolution of its own, one grounded in democratizing innovation. In the first quarter of 2025, Xiaomi led China's smartphone market with an 18% share, growing 12% year over year. Its strategy of combining affordability with cutting-edge tech has proven incredibly effective, both in China and globally. Xiaomi's boldest move yet is the SU-7 an electric vehicle launched in 2024 that starts at just 30,000. Within months, the SU-7 attracted over 100,000 orders, thanks to sleek design, AI-driven features, and competitive performance. Partnering with BAIC allowed Xiaomi to tap into China's world-class EV supply chain, enabling it to manufacture at scale and speed. With a Y-130 billion cash reserve, 
Xiaomi is well prepared to handle price wars in the fiercely competitive EV space. The company plans to deliver 100,000 SU7 units in 2024 alone. But Xiaomi isn't stopping at EVs. In 2025, they unveiled Mimo, a proprietary large language model designed to power smart assistants and devices. According to early benchmarks, MIMO stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with models from Alibaba and DeepSeek, excelling in natural language processing and integration with Xiaomi's smart home ecosystem. At the 2025 Mobile World Congress, Xiaomi surprised audiences with two ambitious reveals, a new line of foldable smartphones and a robotic hand prototype, signals of their intention to enter the personal robotics arena. Meanwhile, their device subsidy program, which offers up to 15% off mid-range devices, has helped boost sales across smartphones, tablets, and wearables, solidifying their dominance in the budget-friendly tech segment. What's remarkable about Xiaomi isn't just their product innovation, it's their scale. With 18 billion USD in cash reserves and growing global momentum, Xiaomi is investing in everything from chip development to IoT ecosystems, building a vertically integrated tech platform that could eventually rival Apple. Together, Huawei and Xiaomi are doing more than transforming China. They're reshaping the global tech landscape. Launched in 2015, China's Made in China 2025 plan aimed to achieve 70% domestic production of core tech components by 2025. With Huawei and Xiaomi's recent achievements, that goal is within striking distance. China is already the world leader in EV production, battery technology, and 5G deployment. Huawei's 5.5G networks are setting new speed records, and their AI chips are directly challenging the dominance of companies like NVIDIA. Xiaomi's entry into EVs and AI has sparked fierce competition, forcing global players like Tesla and Apple to rethink their strategies in the Chinese market. The momentum is growing. At the 2025 China Development Forum, the government announced a new Wyla 1 trillion tech investment fund focused on AI and quantum computing. Experts, including former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, warn that China's combination of massive scale and strong state support make it a formidable player in next-gen tech. But this story isn't only about competition. It's also about connection. Huawei's Chaspark platform shares over 190 million patent records worldwide, promoting open innovation and cross-border tech development. Xiaomi's affordable devices are bringing connectivity to millions in underserved regions, from rural China to sub-Saharan Africa, bridging digital divides and creating new markets. These advancements represent China's shift from copycat to global innovator. A growing, tech-savvy middle class is demanding higher quality and more capable products, and Chinese companies are responding with urgency and ambition. Yes, geopolitical tensions remain a challenge. The U.S. Chips Act and EU scrutiny of Chinese tech are real headwinds. But China's long-term strategy, investing in STEM education, supporting private enterprise, and promoting domestic innovation, is creating a resilient ecosystem. The new 2025 Private Economy Promotion Law is designed to ensure that private firms continue to thrive and innovate under clear legal protections. Huawei and Xiaomi's success isn't accidental. It's a result of smart strategy, bold bets, and an unrelenting drive for self-reliance. Whether it's Huawei's AI chips and fast-charging EV infrastructure, or Xiaomi's game-changing SU7 sedan and MyMO AI assistant, these companies are defining the future of technology. They challenge us to rethink what's possible. They show that innovation can come from anywhere and that the next leap forward might not come from Silicon Valley, but from Shenzhen, Shanghai, or Beijing. So, what do you think? Can Huawei and Xiaomi keep outpacing the West? Are we witnessing a permanent realignment in the global tech order? If you enjoyed this deep dive, check out our other videos on China's AI boom, the clash between DeepSeek and ChatGPT, or the heated EV rivalry between Tesla and BYD. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Maybe a breakdown of China's 6G ambitions or Xiaomi's robotics roadmap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your tech-loving community. Join the conversation. Join the revolution. This is your host, signing off. 3, 2, 1.